All right, so I am in a dirty stall. And this is your tip of the day because I've kind of encountered a lot of people who clean stalls but don't really have a good strategy for cleaning stalls. And um, the reason that I think it's good to have a strategy, especially if you're working for somebody or if you're trying to um, save money, is to consider shavings money because they are. They're expensive. And um, so I'm a real stickler on uh, saving shavings. But then there's a fine line between saving shavings and then actually cleaning the stall because you don't want to save shavings um, and force your horse to live in a dirty stall. So um, here's a little tip. So we've got um, dirty spots here. Obviously, you can see the poop piles. This is, this is just lovely video here. Um, but here's something that most people don't really do is they don't study the color of uh, shavings or in other words, they don't really recognize what wet shavings actually looks like. So, or dirty shavings for that matter. So the, this is a clean area. This mare doesn't go over by her feed bunk. She uh, kind of is fairly clean that way. So these are clean shavings. There's some poop mixed in there. So I would say in a day or so, maybe two days, um, I'm gonna have to strip all the shavings out because they are gonna become more dirt than shavings, more poop than shavings, if that makes sense. Um, and then here we go where it's piles. So she doesn't really pound her poop into the shavings as much because she only goes in one spot and doesn't walk around back there. Um, most horses are not that way, uh, but it's nice to have kind of a clean horse. So anyway, here's kind of the tip for um, finding these wet spots and finding excessively dirty spots is now this, this stall, I'm going to have to put more shavings in after I'm done because we've kind of pulled a lot out of here uh, that has been dirty. But um, what you can do is, so here's my rake. I like to always, after I've cleaned up the majority, now I haven't yet, but just pretend that I have. After I've cleaned up the majority, I rake all of the shavings just all over the place. And see that turns up little balls and it, what it'll also do is it'll turn up wet spots. So I lightly rake just to kind of move the shavings around. Um, I do it usually more as a in a system than I'm doing it right now because I'm just kind of making a point rather than actually doing a job. So um, what you can do, the wet spot will be kind of covered over a lot of the time like this. So I just covered over part of it. And what you do to find these wet spots is you just lightly rake the top and then, oh look, all of a sudden I've got a wet spot because I'm pulling up dirt and moisture and stuff like that. So um, make sure to go to the edges where it starts, when you pull and move shavings, it starts to look dry. So there's the edge. Um, and then just lightly kind of, you know, I have dirt floors here, so I don't want to dig down. I just want to get the surface um, out so that, you know, the ground can still be wet, but I'm going to remove the surface. Um, so once I get that done, then I'm going to take all of my dry. So I'm putting it here. And then I'm going to take all my dry stuff and um, at the end and cover it so that it can kind of soak that up. So that's how I do stalls. You're still going to have to remove shavings. Don't be afraid to do that because you ultimately want your horse to um, be in a dry area. But you also don't want to just throw out a ton of shavings. Um, that way you can save money. And if you're working for somebody, that'll make them extra happy because they won't have to worry about you um, throwing money away. So that's my tip of the day. Hope you liked it.